In 2005, I came home to Albany after a long absence and I filmed the place, recollecting the days of my youth. In 2011, I filmed the area as a promotional video to tell the world what they could expect to find at Albany. There had been a number of changes. Ten years on and it was time to bring the story up to date. What has changed? The old town jetty which used to berth the whale chasers until the end of whaling on the 21st of November 1978 has long gone and in its place a marina offers safe harbour for pleasure craft, fishing boats and cruise vessels. A piece of the old jetty remains as a fishing pier and to commemorate the old structure. The Desert Corps War Memorial was treated to an upgrade in time for the centenary celebrations of the fleet leaving Albany in 1914. For many of the 40,000 Australian and New Zealand servicemen on board, it would be the last time they would see Australian soil sacrificing themselves for the respective nations. There is now wheelchair access to the very top of Mount Clarence and the Padre White Lookout. The National Anzac Centre was opened on the 1st of November 2014 by the Prime Ministers of Australia and New Zealand. A major bone of contention with locals was the narrowing of York Street, where Centre Street parking has been introduced, creating some congestion at times. No longer is the traditional Yorkie possible. However, the positive is that an extra 66 car parking bays have been created, which must be a benefit to the local traders. The area between the Town Hall and the Town's Library has seen many changes over the years. Since 2005, the Council offices have been relocated, the building torn down and a Town Square created. The Library building was extended to house the Information Centre, which used to be in the Railway Station building below Stirling Terrace. The Town Square is used for public gatherings and markets. Sterling Terrace has been given a birthday and throughout the city, alfresco dining has blossomed. There have been new buildings. Firstly, the first stage of development along the waterfront was the Albany Entertainment Centre which opened on Saturday the 11th of December 2010. The pub and convention centre called Jew South was next to open, before finally being joined in 2021 by the new Hilton Garden Inn Hotel. The old Centennial Oval Hall has gone, and the Centennial Oval Complex is in the process of being completely redeveloped. Work commenced in 2015. And so the Middleton Beach and Ellen Cove. The council got townspeople talking when it broke the news that several of the pine trees were to be removed for the car park redevelopment. In all, just a few trees were involved and the precinct hasn't suffered as feared. Meanwhile, Work has commenced to create a new housing product called Duets. But, despite an announcement that the new four-star plus hotel, five to seven storeys, with 80 to 100 rooms is imminent, a vacant block of land is all that is visible to the casual observer. If you enjoyed this video, there's over 200 more just like it on this channel. Subscribe and hit the notification bell and we'll let you know when our next video is available. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you weren't that impressed, please don't hit the dislike button. Instead, tell us why so that we can do something about it. Thanks for watching.